Welcome to Princeton University and the Anlinger Center for Energy and the Environment, and of course, where you're sitting, Mater Hall. Uh, my name is Barry Rand. I am an associate professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering and the Anlinger Center, and I am also the associate director for external partnerships at the Anlinger Center. Um, the Anlinger Center cultivates a science and policy culture that uh, tries to unite academic, as well as corporate, as well as uh, government stakeholders in the pursuit of what I would call pragmatic energy re research, trying to find practical solutions to today's looming energy problems. We have a great lineup for you today, um, composing talks, conversations, panels. You can see it in the folder that you've all gotten, which contains the detailed agenda, as well as the biographies of the esteemed speakers we have today. Um, this annual meeting is generously sponsored by our Princeton e-affiliates, our corporate affiliates program, and we uh, would like to thank them for their attendance today. I see members here uh, from lots of our member partners, uh, including their charter member ExxonMobil, um, general members PSEG and American Tower, Power Survey Company, NRG, Siemens, American Water, and our newest member, Evident. So thank you all for that. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce the director of the Anlinger Center, Lynn Liu. She is a professor in chemical and biological engineering, and from my side, also a very good colleague and collaborator as we work in similar uh, materials, and I, I work in energy materials science briefly, and we work in very similar materials, so I've known her a long time and her, her work in a very detailed way. So please help me in welcoming Lin Lu to the stage. Well, good morning, everybody. It's great to see so many familiar faces and to welcome new ones to our community. As Barry said, my name is Lin Lu. I'm the director here at the Anlinger Center for Energy and the Environment. Um, I thought I would take a couple minutes just to frame today um, and to tell you what motivates me and what motivates us at the Anlinger Center. So friends, um, one in eight of us globally lack access to electricity. One in eight of us. And with the global population projected to grow, um, with just about the same number of people rising into the middle class, there's no question energy demand's gonna grow. In fact, the number is something like, the energy demand in mid-century is gonna be twice that at the turn of the century. And so we talk about meeting these energy demand, we need to think about where it's coming from. And sadly, we still depend a lot on fossil fuels, so the fossil fuel infrastructure, so we need to think about carbon emissions. So what drives us at the Anlinger Center is the question of how do we meet this continuously increasing energy demand while minimizing or eliminating carbon emissions? And that's driven the work that we do here at the Anlinger Center for almost a decade now. Um, what I'd like to call your attention to is in your folder, there is an annual report. This annual report highlights the activities of the past year at the Anlinger Center. And featured on the cover of this annual report is Rapid Switch. This is a global research project that we just launched the past year. And this project, um, um, the goal of the project is to identify and to critically examine the socioeconomical, the technological, the political bottlenecks, constraints, unintended consequences that would slow down the pace to decarbonization. Okay, so I encourage you to look at this. And of course, meetings like this, like the annual meeting, is, is so important to us because this provides us a forum to engage with stakeholders in industry and in government. Um, and so I'm delighted that everybody uh, is here today. Uh, we have, as Barry said, a very exciting program. Um, so followed by the keynote this morning is gonna be a panel discussion on advances in data science at the energy water nexus. Uh, energy and water is really intertwined, right? The uh, single industry that uses the most water is energy production. And of course, it takes a lot of energy to move water around and for water treatment. So that panel is going to explore using data science to look at the challenges at the energy water nexus. And then after that is lunch. And lunch, we have 
almost 60 posters from undergraduates, graduate students, and postdocs who are eager to tell you what they've been working on in the past year. So I encourage you to take a look at those posters. <laughs> Coming back from lunch is a discussion uh, between Greg Nemet and uh, Audrey Lee on uh, the status of the solar industry. And then that's followed by a keynote in the afternoon by David Eaglesham, who uh, has been a serial entrepreneur in the renewable space, but he's going to focus on uh, fuels um, in his keynote. And that's going to be bookended by a panel discussion on uh, carbon dioxide utilization. So carbon capture is in a lot of the decarbonization scenarios, once you capture the carbon, this panel is going to explore how you can use it to make useful products. So that's basically a quick summary of the day.